We're going to start with a progress note and creating a, pro a new progress note for this patient. And a lot of times I will use a template, but then a lot of times I will use drag and dictate. So it just depends on the condition. But here I'm showing a template that I've created for ingrown toenail. And uh, this does take quite a bit of time to make these templates, but once you've got them made, you can use them and, and you can reuse different parts. So things such as vital signs uh, and other things are pulled in from other parts of the chart that have already been filled in. So here we're going to pick a pop-up list and to, for the duration. Uh, how long they've had it and which toenails it involves and whether they're having pain and if the pain uh, is moderate and, and uh, the, the quality of the pain. Uh, is it sharp? Is it uh, a dull, aching, throbbing? So we have these little pick lists that we can just uh, click on and uh, insert those uh, into the note. And, uh, you know, swelling, yes. Is there oozing? Yes. Uh, all of these things we just click on and uh, it makes it uh, pretty quick to uh, to make these notes. So, as I say, sometimes I will do use drag and dictate and, and not use much of the template. Other times I will use the template. It just depends. Um, so then we just go uh, down here. You see the medications and allergies. Those have been pulled in from the uh, proper parts of the chart so that we don't have to uh, keep repeating that in the previous hospitalizations. Uh, and then if we've reviewed the previous uh, past medical history, social history, family history, just click that. And then uh, here we're going to say that they're well-appearing, they're well-nourished, they're alert and oriented times three, ambulating well. Uh, and so all of these things uh, uh, can be uh, quickly uh, determined. Um, now for exam, for pulses, I've got either a brief or a, a more complex. If it's brief, it's just... Uh, says all pulses are such, um, but uh, if we want to go more in depth with a vascular exam, then we click this and we really go each uh, uh, pedal pulse to say is it palpable, is it easily palpable, um, barely palpable, or absent. And then we, I have a place for cap fill and, um, you know, uh, varicosities, and this could be totally expanded and customizable to uh, make it as in-depth or as minimal as you want. Um, vibratory sense, light touch, all of these things. Uh, I actually have a separate little chart for monofilament testing, which I'll show a little bit later. Under the derm exam, I've just got some standard phrases that I tend to use a lot. And here, talking about which ingrown toenail it is. Uh, on the left, they don't have one. But on the right, he's got the first toenail on the medial border. Um, and there is some hypertrophy of the nail fold. Uh, there is erythema, there is uh, warmth, tenderness, there's uh, some purulent uh, discharge, and there's a pyogenic granuloma. And then I like to put pictures right into the chart. So what I do is I uh, have a digital camera that I just take a picture and I can just drag that right into the chart there uh, so that now I've got a picture right in the chart, uh, resize it if I want to. And uh, that's really nice to have there on subsequent visits. So uh, if I wanted to go through a biomechanical exam, uh, I could go through that and, and click all of the various uh, items there. There's also th another toenail exam for mycosis and uh, uh, lesion findings. You know, do they have uh, corns or calluses? Uh, uh, I'll say... Um, yeah, let's uh, give him a pinch uh, or a plantar callus, uh, like a tyloma, beneath the second metatarsalite on the right foot, and a pinch callus on the uh, left foot. And uh, other foot deformities, are there bunions, hammer toes, things like that? Yes, let's say he's got a uh, right bunion that's a moderate uh, in severity. And you can always type in additional findings that you want to. And here, this template, I've already got the diagnosis in there. And the procedures here, I can pick my choice. And uh, let's say I do a partial excision on him. That'll expand down. And I can say I did the uh, medial border on the uh, uh, right hallux. And uh, there, it just goes through the whole thing. And uh, I also have not only the diagnosis codes, but the uh, procedure codes are embedded in here. And those will go right into the uh, my billing part, the uh, LIHTC uh, part. It'll cross right over uh, into that. And I just pick which uh, toe modifier it is. And that was the uh, right hallux. So we click on that. And then if I dispense a surgical shoe, um, I can uh, go ahead and uh, have that 
build as well with the with a proper modifier if I need that. So this is a, in a quick and easy way to go through a note. And then uh, here we're going to say we uh, reassured him and uh, if it fails to improve then he's to call or follow up and have him do some uh, BID soaks and uh, follow up in uh, two weeks. So we'll just uh, pick two weeks from this uh, popped up list and there is the encounter and uh, we just uh, save that and sign off on it and the charges will go through and everything will be saved and uh, it'll have my electronic signature to it and then when I go to look at the note it's taken out all of that uh, extraneous stuff that I didn't uh, click and it just gives a nice concise visit and there's the complete progress note from that date.